as Muslims, we have to believe everything in our Holy Quran. If our Holy Quran says something and we say we are Muslim, but we don't believe in even one ayah, one verse, or even a half a ayah, half a verse, even if we don't believe in one word of the Holy Quran, we are not Muslim. We might have a name of a Muslim, but we cannot be Muslim. Okay, why? Because we are disputing with what is written in the Holy Quran. Now, madam, you being a Christian, and you are telling us, and the other Christians are telling us that Jesus was God. And then they also, Christians say, you told us Jesus was a man as well. He became a man. Yeah. And the other Christians also say, yes, Jesus became a man. So in other words, the Christians are telling us, yes, Jesus was God. The Christians are telling us, yes, Jesus was a man. So the Christians are telling us, Jesus was, so was Jesus 100% God? Yes? yes? Sorry, a bit louder. Yes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So was Jesus 100% man? Yes. You God. see, when I, if I ask you, was Jesus 100% God? And when you say, yes, Jesus was 100% God, then you cannot say that Jesus was 100% man. Or you cannot even say Jesus was half a percent man. Because, because, you know, Why? you Why said Jesus say was 100% God. Why can't you say that, though? Why? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Why? Because there's only 100%. Once you say 100%, there's not even chance of half a percent, even a third of a percent left for Jesus to be a man. Because you already said that Jesus is 100%. Man. He's God. He can do what he yeah, but but you know, in the uh, in this book, uh, uh, in the Old Testament, in every Christian Bible, Book of Numbers, chapter twenty-three, verse nineteen, in black and white, yeah. in English translation, is telling you, God is not a man yeah. that he should lie, nor is God the son of man that he should change his mind? Yeah. So, you know, English is my second language. Yeah, yeah. I understand. When in the Bible it said God is not a man that he should lie, or nor is God the son of a man that he should change his mind, though English is my second language, I understand. But English is your first language, yes? So if English is your first language, you should understand more than me. Okay, let's move, let's move forward. Okay, you know, you know, uh, yeah, let's move forward. You know, I'm, I, I'm only trying to learn from you, you know. So as a Christian, madam, no, the cameras are not, uh, for, they are, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, now, so, we Muslims go around telling the Christians that there are many contradictions in the Christian Bible. Yeah. That because there are different Bibles, you know, with different number of books, there are many contradictions. Yeah. Like for example, you know, there are Muslim brothers there from, I am from Pakistan, Muslim from Pakistan, and this brother may be from uh, North, Africa. North Africa, Algeria. Okay, he's from Algeria. The other brother is from Saudi Arabia. Mashallah, beautiful Saudi Arabia. And the other brother is from Somalia. And you know, our Holy Quran in, is the same everywhere. The Holy Quran is one and the same everywhere. But the Christian Bible is so different. Why? Because you have, uh, and the Holy Quran we have everywhere. Is 114 surah chapters. Same everywhere from the beginning to the end. But the Christian Bible is different. Why? Russian Orthodox Bible, 86 books. Greek Orthodox Bible, 78 books. Ethiopian Tivahedo Orthodox Bible in Africa, how many books? 81 books. Then you have the Catholic Christian Bible, how many books? 73 books. 
then you have you're a protestant yes okay then you have the protestant christian bible with 66 books and there are other different bibles with and these bibles with different number of books and you know the russian orthodox preacher will stand in the church he will say yes that is the russian orthodox bible with 86 books that is the book of god the greek orthodox preacher will stand in his church and he will say yes the greek orthodox bible with 78 books that is the book of god and the protestant preacher will stand in the church he will say yes the protestant bible with 66 books that is the book of god and the catholic preacher he will stand in the church he will say yes the catholic bible with 73 books that is the book of god then the ethiopian african preacher will stand in his church and he will say yes his orthodox bible ethiopian orthodox tivahido bible with 81 books is the book of god so which one shall we believe the russian orthodox preacher the greek orthodox preacher the catholic preacher the protestant preacher who yo, 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 chill out, chill out. which preacher shall we believe well You've got to remember the yeah. old divide and conquer. Yeah. yeah. All these different denominations yeah. were all started by white Freemasons. White Freemasons. Th white Freemasons, to okay. To divide and conquer. When you say to divide, thank you very much. Yeah. When you say to divide, did they make these Bibles with different number of books? to divide the Christians? Very much so. Not so much the books, but the different denominations. Yeah. On my YouTube channel, yeah. um, I talk to other people. Uh, you have a YouTube channel? I do, yeah. Okay, yeah. And, um, uh, I don't know what's the name of your YouTube channel. Oh, Maybe sometime you will let me know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's called Days of the Remnant Bride of Christ. Okay. But, you know, like, sometimes when I'm talking to them, like, there was an instance where I was talking, was trying to tell someone about the Bible changes. Yeah. And he said to me, um, you know, D Jesus loves you. Yeah. So I said, yes, I know. Yeah. Now, if you say that to a Christian, that they should automatically recognize yeah. that there is a sister in front of them, right? Yeah. But he didn't. He went on to sort of say, am I saved? Am okay. I this? Am I that? Okay. Now. Um, Vision. Yeah. So oh, I'm Catholic. I'm the best one. Yeah. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm the best one. Okay. So, if I were to ask you, which one of these different Bibles yeah. is the true Bible? Now, this is the. You, you, which Bible? You don't go to any. When you read any Bible. Yeah. It is the Holy Spirit. The yeah. Hakra, um, the Holy Spirit who guides us when we're reading the Bible. Yeah. You don't go to any church. Yeah. They're all apostates, every single one of them. Okay, tell me, when you say you don't go to church, no, I don't. don't you believe, as a Christian, don't you believe in the different Christian churches? Uh, no, they're all apostates. They're all, they, they have all proven themselves apostates. So they are not, uh, do you mean, we Muslims say, our places of worship, masjid, is a house of Allah, yeah. house of God, yeah. okay? And uh, we go there to pray, okay? And we will ask people to go in the masjid and pray, okay? But it's the house of Allah. Now, as a Christian, would you tell people to go to church and pray? No. You wouldn't? No, I tell people, go straight to Jesus. That's it. So how will you go, how will you go straight to Jesus? By you pray. You read the Bible. Oh, by praying anywhere? No. Okay. No, he says, okay. he says in the Bible, when you pray, Go to your room, shut the door, yeah. and in your private room. Okay, so you, you don't show, need. Make a show of it, so yeah. you don't need to go to church and pray. No, 